Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Micro90. Alright, um, today, <clears throat> sorry, um, bad intro. Anywho, um, I'm here today to show you guys how to make a mushroom tutor a mushroom farm, as seen on the Dire Wolf Feed the Beast map. Um, alright, let's get this started. Now, I'm just trying to remember. Alright, oops, I forgot to turn it off creative. There we go. So first off, let ah crap, my mouse gets slower when I hit shift. Anyways, put two deployers right here on both sides, and then put one like so. So now we we have a, a deployer on both sides and one in front. I'm almost sure this is right. And yeah, all right. So now take a filter. It's a thing that's filter. Yeah, filter. And place it on each of the deployers. And I can't exactly oop. Now I'll just fly around. Ah, crap. There we go. And orient them right. Okie doke. And I guess we'll have to cover up this so they can't get out. Oop. Come on. I'm just making these little platforms in case we need them for later. Alright then. So we have our filters. Now we need to add our regulators and they are very essential in getting the items into the deployers. Alright, so put one right here, one right here, and there. Oops, there. Now make sure you orient them like so. The yellow side is the input and like this kind of side is the output. Even though that's a, that's a filter, it's still the same thing. Yes, yeah, see right there? That's the output. So orient them and this one. All right. And then put a condenser right there. <laughs> I like that, how it gives off light. Anyways. Orient this one. Wait, is this a filter? Yeah, good. Okay. For some reason, I thought I put a transposer there. All right then. Now we got hook. Oops. Hook up. I jeez. Our filters. Oh, and I, get, I didn't get those right. Apparently. There we go. Dang it. This is why I hate sneaking. I'm not sure if I can change the sneak button to, to make me um, not fly down. If you guys know, let me know. Alright, and... I mean, you can obviously make this a lot easier on space, like... Um, let me just break out some covers. I think that worked. Yep, there we go. Put it right there. And like so. There we go. I don't know why that didn't work before. Put it back in creative, and there we go. Oh, wait a minute. There we go, much better. Put one there, put one there. Destroy all these. And there we go. Much more is efficient on space. Alright, so I have that down. Oh, let's set this up real quick. 
get ourselves a bowl and put it in our condenser. And let's see. We have the bowl part going into the regulators. I guess we can go set up the regulators right now. Spawn myself in a couple bowls because I will need a few stacks. Alright, so this is important part. This side of the regulator is basically the way of telling the regulator that it should ha take in 32 and this is its inventory. So once it gets 32, it will input the bowls into the deployer. As for this side, this is kind of like a test condition. If the deployer has less has the less than 32 bowls, then it will input. And I don't exactly know what this um, what these mean. I mean, there, if there's a tool tip, that'd be great. But all I know is that this is the right setting we want. So 30. So if there are less than 32 bowls in their deployer, put in more. And change that one. Change that one. I'm trying to remember what else I need to modify because I know there's something I'm not remembering right now. I know there's a wiring. Um, I guess there's that. This basically could be your condenser to make diamonds, bar, uh, gold bars, iron bars, whatever you want. So the soup, oh that's right, the soup, that's what I needed to do. So I'll take that off creative, soup, and I should probably, no, make it daytime. I, I keep forgetting it's mushroom stew, not mushroom stoop, soup, <laughs> stoop, good god. Alright, so the filters will only pull out mushroom stew. Because uh, you want to make sure you put it in the filter, otherwise it'll pull out bowls and that will gum up your system. And one more thing. Got to make sure we only have it um, pull out bowls instead. Actually, I'll just put one. Alright, now for a filter. I mean, filter a timer. Actually, I want to raise this up. And I forgot I turned it up creative. Get the stone. And back in creative again. Alright, so we got our timer. We'll turn it off. And we're going to need a timer for this contraption. Oh, this part of the contraption. And first off, though, we need to wire up our machines. Otherwise, the filters will not work. And um, just in case you're wondering, redstone will go through the box, and it will activate the deployers as well. And just a proof of concept, I will, let's see, put that there, and put a timer here. See, they are being activated and put that there. I might need to move this later, don't know yet. So we have everything in place. Let's get our mushroom spawned in. Now from what I've found, you're better off having two mushrooms in this system. Because sometimes, and I'll sh actually show you before I put in another one. So there's our mushroom. And uh, sometimes both of the deployers will not activate will not, will not uh, pull, um, I guess, the stew after deploying the bowl on the cow out of it. Uh, let's see. I guess diamond. It would be good. So there we go. We got a, oops. We got a full bowl. Actually, I'll just put one in one more in. So I got a full bowl, a full bowl, a full a chest full of bowls. And now let's turn this thing a little bit faster and watch what happens 
Actually, I think that a lot faster. I forgot it's on creative. Actually, you know what? I think I might bump it up. 32. Here we go. So now, see, goes to 14, 32. And it should, let's see, no, I can't destroy that. All right, click the deployer, see, 32. 32. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Alright, um, might as well get that meat out of there. Alright. So yeah, as I, was, as I was saying, the deployers will have 32 bullets inside them. And the filter will not activate because there's no inventories for it to go into, so given that it's in pneumatic tubes, we're good. Alright, so now, let's activate this and make it a lot faster. As you can see, sometimes, I guess, it activates the other filter. But it also depends on where the cow is in the room, or in the little pen. See, this one seems to fire off at all times. Uh, as for this one... What is going on here? I think I screwed up big. Give me a second here, I'll figure out what I did wrong. Okay guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. I just had some little issues with the pro with the game, uh, the setup. Jeez, I can't even talk either. Anyways, um, I moved the chest a little closer. I'm not sure what the heck is going on, because in my other save world, I have this chest further out. Um, I'm, I suppose something with uh, restrictor tubes could be used, but uh, anyways. It seems over here that the deployers aren't getting... Okay, that's why. Sometimes the system gets gummed up. And mostly because of issues and with the um, filters and the deployers. Okay, it is still doing that. Let's see. I think I... Because I changed it like this, it's messing up. Let me just delete. Oh, I forgot. Delete all these. Alright. Alright, dang it. Why does it keep going off delete mode? I don't understand. Anyways. Alright, that's fine. Delete that. And delete that. Okay. Now let's check everything out one more time. This is obviously a big problem. Uh, trial and error is what I meant to say. Delete all these. Now the filter should be pulling that out properly. It is, alright. So every machine is working nicely. So, alright, so there's only one cow in here, and there are two deployers on each side. Now, if you put a second cow in there, all the deployers will be activated. Will be, I mean, um, should be working. Is that outputting? It may be that it does not have any bowls. Let's check. Okay, there's not enough room for bowls. That's a big difference. Alright, so now it should get more bowls. It's working now. How about this one? It's fine. Uh, that's a filter, I bet. Let's check the deployer. Okay, that one's fine. Delete that. Oops. Dang it, I keep forgetting that. Delete, 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 delete. Alright. Now they should be working. See? All working. So yeah, this is pretty much my mushroom farm. Well, not mine, because I didn't make it originally, but, you know, what I'm trying to say. And over here, diamonds, diamonds, good times. 
And yeah, it's kind of gummed up over here, but it doesn't matter. It's the mag tubes. They will be able to, the items will find their spot eventually. And I guess you could make this, you could put one there. But I just put it 32, or even 16 would be fine. And there are far more than enough bulls. So anyways, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, uh, post your comments, and I'll see you later. Bye.